Hello friends, <coughs> I want to tell you a little bit about science. <coughs> uh, what is the problem with the standard model in uh, in science? Actually, this not this is not my words. And most of the people say that. <coughs> I mean, a lot of scientists say that. Uh, we have a, a particle physics standard model. There's a, like a big soup of particles. I mean, uh, with different. Uh, masses and uh, different. Um, there's a bunch of quarks and and just many 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 different particles. Uh, and the standard mo model is uh, just a big, like a big soup of all these particles. But um, but there's a problem explaining all this, uh, the nature of these particles, why the particles uh, they, they've been found in experimentally, but they haven't they haven't been uh, explained why there's so many different particles and and what do they have in common except that some laws of physics and that's where uh, what I want to return to uh, that's where string theory comes in. String theory comes and explains for all of this explains all of this because. Uh, it's not been. It's not throws out the standard model. It just explains the strong standard model. The, the reason why a lot of people call the the string theory is pseudoscience because uh, string theory comes with incredible uh, other ideas besides the fact that it explains four natural forces which all particles obey, uh, and it's also quantifies quantifies gravity. But uh, the standard model. But uh, my 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 enlightenment was about the uh, the string theory. Why I, I I was like wow, string theory. It's when the first chapter when I read the book, uh, uh, string, this one here, a uh, string theory demystified. You read the first chapter and it explains you uh, how you get a, a quantum field theory where we combine quantum mechanics and relativity and uh, quant. We quant yeah, so quantum mechanics and relativity, but in the problem in the theory, it talks about point particles. So they, there's the infinitely, infinitely small particles. They are small, like electrons. What are they? You know, they're really, really tiny. Uh, you know, that's what they say, marbles or matter. But they cannot be marbles, unfortunately. Uh, they not spherical. They cannot be spherical. That's why, and you cannot see it as really. Basically, they just points. You know, like a. Little little points, tiny, 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 and the problem with that model is that it creates infinities when you try to combine quantum mechanics and gravity. Uh, so uh, or quantify gravity, actually, yeah, that's probably a better word. So when you try to quantify gravity, there's a problems. Uh, the problem is in the formula, pretty simple formula actually. It talks about the momentum, the sum of the momentum of uh, uh, because it's infinitesimal point. And the sum of the momentum is actually give you infinity, and we in in mathematics and well actually not mathematics in mathematics they deal with infinities pretty well, but in physics they don't because infinities do not explain physical reality. So the problem is uh, with uh, with that model is that it creates inf uh, the when you're trying to combine a, a quantify gravity, uh, the, uh, the 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 um, um, the the problem arises when uh, with the infinities of momentum, momentum infinities of point particles. That's why they say this it cannot be. The particles cannot be point particles, and that's why someone said assumed uh, someone just came up with an idea in 1970s that it might not be a particle. It might be a little string, uh, you know, a string like uh, what is it made of? No one knows, but like just a you know um, basic string of energy. Uh, or some 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 vibrating energy, and that seemed to uh, fit the physical explanation. And then actually that got rid of the infinities. Yeah, they got rid of the infinities and um, combine quantify the gravity. So combine the gravity and quantum mechanics, and that was beautiful. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful because no other theories can do that. And that's what. Uh, uh, String theory did it's actually did, but then there's other things. So yeah, I just want to leave it at that because uh, this is really interesting because we be able to uh, make a uh, one theory that because everyone had a problem with we could not find this theory or, or standard model cannot explain the quantum gravity they could not quantify the the gravity and here we go move to string theory which it does which it actually explains that 
and it says that yes we can have uh, quantum gravity or gravity in quantum mechanics and uh, working gravity in quantum mechanics and the reason for it is the string theory but the string theory came up with many other ideas later on a lot of people did some research and they found out these other things uh, that comes out of string theory which also amazing but uh, for now, uh, yeah, I uh, just want to leave it at that. Why it's so beautiful? Why is the standard model with all the soup of particles that no one can explain why they like, why they are such? You know, uh, why they? Besides, I mean, Higgs boson doesn't explain them, but it explains partially what what gives the mass and all gives them. But still, it doesn't really explain. Even though we found, it, but doesn't explain the standard model. It just says this is a field underneath all these particles, but it doesn't explain. So, yeah, uh, and but string theory goes further. It goes one step further and explains, combines all four forces of nature together and, and, and says, when I first read it, I was like, wow, string theory. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that I actually get to read this book, you know, eventually. So, uh, but yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Just, it's in maths, you know. It's not, uh, I mean, people can tell you, but once you see the maths and, and, and the logic, you'll be like, of course that makes sense you know yeah so anyway i'll leave it at that and thanks for watching and uh, yeah cheese